Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to get all eight legendary weapons here in Dead Island 2. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Now the first weapon we're going to show you how to unlock is probably the easiest and that is Emma's Wrath. It's a sledgehammer mixed with a shotgun. It's pretty slow, but it's really, really good. And it's unlocked by completing the main story here in Dead Island 2. So there's 24 main quests. Once you complete the 24th quest called Hollywood Ending, you will be rewarded with Emma's Wrath. The second weapon we're going to show you how to get is called Blood Rage. This is the legendary knife. And the first thing you need to do to get this legendary knife is complete that main quest called Blood Drive. Now, after completing Blood Drive, you can head over to the pier and you want to work your way to the Lifeguard HQ, which is actually the fast travel location. And once you get to the Lifeguard HQ, you can come down here and we're going to take out a crusher named Dante. Dante is going to drop the beginning to a lost and found quest called Fool's Gold. After completing Fool's Gold, you'll be able to get the second legendary weapon, the Blood Rage Knife. The third legendary weapon you can get is Big Shot, which is the legendary pistol. Now to start, you need to make sure that you've completed the entire main story, all 24 main quests here in Dead Island 2. Now after completing all 24 main missions, you can head back to Bel Air and to Emma's mansion where you'll end up if you fast travel back to Bel Air. And once you're inside, you want to look for Luciana who's sitting on the couch with a laptop. She's going to give you a side quest called It's Not Your Fault. And once completing It's Not Your Fault, you will be rewarded with the big shot pistol. The fourth legendary weapon you can get is the Brutalizer, which is our legendary machete. Now to get this machete, you want to head to Beverly Hills and on the northern side of the map in Beverly Hills, you want to go to the house with the red roof that also has the workbench inside. Now when you get to the house with the red roof, you can go inside the garage and you'll speak to a lady named Francesca. Now Francesca is going to start you on a six side quest adventure, which is actually not as hard as it may seem. Essentially what she's going to ask you to do is collect different body parts from different types of zombies so if you've already made it pretty far into the game before starting these side quests there's a good chance you're already going to have everything that you need to complete all six side quests now for each individual quest you won't need to speak with her you'll just need to come back to this location and put the items in the bucket once doing so it'll say quest complete and what you can do is turn around and start running back to the fast travel essentially what you need to do is run about 100 meters away from the house and once doing so the next quest will pop up back in the garage and then you can run back if you have the items you can put them in the bucket if you don't you can go and retrieve them but you need to do this six times after completing all six side quests you'll need to fast travel out of beverly hills and fast travel back and once coming back you'll be able to speak to her where she'll be standing in her backyard and she will reward you with the legendary machete now the fifth legendary weapon you can get is called the one which is the legendary sword this thing is pretty slow but again very very good now to get this sword you'll have to complete three side quests they're actually sarah and sebastian's series of side quests and you can start the first one by going to a receiver like the one found in Ricky's house here in Beverly Hills. Uh, the receivers look like this right here on the table. I believe there's one in Monarch Studios as well. But once you talk through one of the receivers, you will start the series of three quests. Now, after completing the first quest, it's called It Came From Monarch Studios. You can then start their second quest again by one of the receivers, like the one here in Ricky's house. The second quest is called The Terror of Soundstage 7. Now, after completing the second side quest, you want to head over to Hollywood Boulevard and inside the safe room where you end up spawning if you fast travel to Hollywood Boulevard you'll find Sebastian after speaking to Sebastian you'll be able to start the third and final quest in this small series which is going to be called Beacon of Hope after completing the third quest Beacon of Hope you can then return back to Sebastian here and he will reward you with the legendary sword now the sixth legendary weapon we'll show you how to get is Krakatoa which is our legendary axe this thing is incredible as well as coming with fire damage now to unlock the Krakatoa you'll actually have to complete the sixth lost and found missing person quest now after completing the main quest plumbing the depths here in ocean ave we can head over to the sterling hotel which is going to be the safe house for ocean ave once you're in the sterling hotel we can head over to the missing persons wall and start finding players that are missing in the game now the quest we're going to be looking for is titled missing steve now he will not pop up on the wall until you complete a couple of the other missing persons quests so come to this wall here in the sterling hotel Work your way through the missing persons quest until you unlock missing Steve. And after completing Steve's quest, you'll be rewarded with the Krakatoa axe. Now the seventh legendary weapon you can get is the party starter, which is our legendary brass knuckles. Now these are going to be unlocked by completing another lost
lost and found quest. Now to start this quest, you wanna head over to Ocean Avenue inside of the Sterling Hotel, and we'll show you exactly where to go to start this thing. So starting from the safe house here inside the Lotusville Mall, we're gonna exit the room and we'll go down to the first floor. And once doing so on the right side over here, we'll be able to enter the bathrooms. Once you enter the bathrooms over here in the very back against the wall is going to be a note on the ground that you'll be able to pick up that's going to start the lost and found quest. Now this quest is going to ask you to go to the tattoo parlor to find another note in Venice Beach and then after that you can go to the weed store in Venice Beach to get another note and after that it'll take you to the pier grill uh, over at the pier to get the final note. And after finishing up at the pier you'll be able to return to the Lotusville Mall and in a parked car in the parking garage under the mall itself you'll be able to find the party starter at Brass Knuckles. Now the eighth and final legendary weapon you can snag here in Dead Island 2 is the body count rapid fire machine gun, which is personally my favorite. But the first thing you'll have to do to unlock this thing is to complete the side quest Diaries of the Dead, which can be started at the top of the lifeguard tower in Venice Beach. This will be located on the northwestern side of the map. And once you get to the top of the tower, you'll be able to speak with Rodriguez, who is going to allow you to start this quest. Now, after completing the Diaries of the Dead quest, you'll then unlock the Redacted Lost and Found Weapon quest. Now, the Redacted quest will also be started here in Venice Beach. For this one, we're going to want to head over to the military tents within the base that are indicated by the three red rectangles on your map. The start of this quest is going to be found in the northernmost red rectangle. Once you get here, you'll be able to go inside and inside you're going to take out a lieutenant by the name of Lieutenant Ford. Once you take out Ford, who will be sitting here most likely eating a body, he will drop the first clue to start the redacted quest. And once you complete that redacted quest, you will then be rewarded with the body count assault rifle. But this is how to find all eight legendary weapons here in Dead Island 2. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.